Investorideas.com podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to another Investorideas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Today we'll be looking at announcements from Fire and Flower Holdings Corporation, trading on the TSX Venture as FAF, Grown Rogue International Incorporated, trading on the CSC as GRIN, and the OTC as NVSIF, Blockstrain Technology Corporation, trading on the TSX Venture as DNAX.V, and the OTC as BKKSF, Lifestyle Delivery Systems Incorporated, trading on the CSC as LDS, and the OTCQX as LDSYF, Vireo Health International Incorporated, trading on the CSC as VREO, and the OTC as VREOF, and Seoul Global Investments Corporation, trading on the CSC as Seoul, and the OTCQB as Seoul CF. So first looking at Fire and Flower Holdings Corporation, who today announced that Fire and Flower York Street Cannabis, one of Ottawa's first legal adult use cannabis stores, achieved opening day system sales in excess of $50,000 Canadian. We're thrilled to see that consumers in Ottawa were pleased with the Fire and Flower retail experience, shared Trevor Fencott, Chief Executive Officer of Fire and Flower. Achieving more than $50,000 in the first day of sales is an impressive milestone and demonstrates Fire and Flower's ability to deliver a best-in-class cannabis retail experience. As the first store opened in Ottawa, we're grateful to members of our community who have shown us such incredible support, said license holder Michael Patterson. The ability to achieve such remarkable opening day of sales would not have been possible without the expertise of all members of the Fire and Flower team, added license holder Eric Lavoie. Next, looking at Grown Rogue International Incorporated, a vertically integrated multi-state cannabis company with licenses and operations in Oregon, California, and now Michigan, has released its financial and operating results for the three months ended January 31st, 2019. Some of the highlights included first quarter revenue, which grew by 388% year over year to 834,000, and is expected to continue to grow as the company proceeds with its expansion plans in Oregon, California, and Michigan. Grown Road products in over 220 dispensaries in Oregon, as well as achieving Oregon Outdoor THC Potency Record and won the prestigious Growers Cup in two of three categories. Our fiscal 2019 quarter one represents the first full quarter for Grown Rogue as a public company and marks the company's fifth consecutive quarter of revenue growth since launching first in the state of Oregon in late 2017, said Obi Strickler, President and CEO of Grown Rogue. To have gained this brand recognition and sales traction in what is arguably the world's most competitive legalized cannabis market bodes well for our expansion into California and particularly the newly legalized market in Michigan. We've grown very quickly from controlling just three licenses in one state a year ago to assets allowing us to have 22 licenses in three states today. Next, looking at Blockstrain Technology Corporation, creative of the first blockchain-secured, fully integrated IP tracking platform for the cannabis industry, who announced that Software Suite has been nominated for Best Software at the O'Cannabis Industry Awards Gala on Thursday, April 25, 2019. Blockstrain's mission is to provide licensed producers, craft growers, cannabis product developers, and of course consumers with a high level of confidence in the quality and contents of their cannabis-based products, said Chief Executive Officer Robert Galarza. We take pride in having developed what we believe is a comprehensive best-in-class platform and are honored to be included as a nominee in the category of Best Software at this premier event presented by one of Canada's most highly regarded business-to-business -business cannabis conferences. The gala, which will be held during the Okanabiz Conference, taking place on April 25th to 27th in Toronto, is a celebration and exclusive event to recognize the industry's best professionals and products in 35 categories. Registered voters will be able to vote once per email address during the voting period, which closes at 12 p.m. Eastern Time or 9 a.m. Pacific Time on April 3rd. Next, looking at Lifestyle Delivery Systems Incorporated, who announced that Lifestyle Delivery Systems wholly owned subsidiary, CSPA Group Incorporated, has completed the initial packaging of the fourth generation of CBD canna strips for the California market. The packaged CBD canna strips will now be sent to an independent laboratory for California state testing. This is the final requirement on all manufactured cannabis products before they're eligible for distribution and sale. The latest formulation has improved taste and faster bioavailability. The completed CBD version is a 10 mg CBD strip with less than 2% THC. All of the CBD versions will have a full spectrum of cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids to promote all possible entourage effects. The company's CEO, Brad Eckenweller, commented that this product has been a long waited and is possibly the most significant product in the LDS mission for customers looking for safe, contaminant-free cannabis products without the issues of smoking or ingesting cannabis. We developed cannabis strips in the hope that cannabinoids could help reduce cancer treatment symptoms without smoking or ingesting cannabis into the harshest forms. 
The Canistrips delivery system accomplishes this objective seamlessly without offending or affecting others discreetly, quickly, and tastefully. Next, looking at Vireo Health International Incorporated, America's leading science-focused multi-state cannabis company, who today announced the acquisition of Mayflower Botanicals Incorporated, a registered marijuana dispensary certified holder in Massachusetts. In conjunction with the transaction, Vireo acquired 73 acres of land zoned for the production, processing, and distribution of medical cannabis with an expedited path toward adult use licensure. As a board certified emergency room physician, I support adult use programs because I believe cannabis to be a safer and less addictive alternative to both alcohol and tobacco, said Chief Executive Officer Kyle Kingsley, MD. It's time to recognize that a public health policy focused on adults replacing their consumption of alcoholic beverages and tobacco products with cannabis has the potential to save thousands of lives each year. Data from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention indicates that the excessive alcohol use in the United States kills about 88,000 people each year. In Massachusetts, excessive drinking results in 1,525 deaths annually. According to a 2016 study, Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year, including nearly 42,000 deaths from secondhand smoke exposure. In 2015, an estimated 700,000 adults in Massachusetts were regularly cigarette smokers. Lastly, we look at Seoul Global Investments Corporation, who announced its latest strategic investment, a significant position in premium hemp company Sacred Hemp. Seoul Global has acquired a 10.3% stake in Sacred, the Chicago, Illinois-based manufacturer of premium hemp seed oil-infused products, including pain relief balms and oils, feminine products, massage oils, salt soaks, and personal lubricants. Seoul Global will assign its position in Sacred to the hemp CBD-focused international subsidiary, Heavenly RX. Sacred's product line includes best-selling all-natural pain relief balms and lotions made from a combination of natural hemp seed oil extracts, essential oils, and methanol. Sacred's therapeutic massage oil is designed to rejuvenate even the most sensitive skin types and can help to reduce muscle inflammation and receive and relieve muscle aches and pains. Sacred also offers four different varietals of salt soaks, including its acai berry soak and its Dead Sea salt soak, as well as two varietals of natural hemp oil infused personal lubricant designed to enhance intimacy without irritants or harsh chemicals. Their female specific product lines include a PNS pain balm as well as an all natural feminine wash. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. InvestorIdeas.com podcasts are also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and TuneIn. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investment. Investor Ideas does not condone the use of cannabis except where permissible by law. Our site does not possess, distribute, or sell cannabis products.